In this problem, I'd like to come up with this angle here, given this height and this distance. Now this is basically the same kind of thing we've been doing with the trigonometry. The difference now is I'm flipping around and I don't know the angle. Everything we've done is angle. Proceed like we normally do. Let's talk about my sides. This is the angle I'm thinking about. So I'm going to put a little theta in there to represent the fact that that's the angle we're thinking about. That would make the 40 over here my opposite, because it's opposite the angle. That would make the 300 feet along here the adjacent. It's next to the angle. And it would make this distance along here the hypotenuse. It's the long side crossed from my 90 degrees. Again, proceeding like normal, I know I've got the opposite and the adjacent, so I think about what trig functions that we've talked about use those. What comes to mind is that the tangent of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. Now that comes from Sokotoa, that's the Toa part, the last part of the phrase. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in what I know into that expression. So I'm going to say that the tangent, some angle, is equal to the opposite, 40, divided by the adjacent, 300. Now that also means that the tangent of this angle is equal, grab the calculator, let's see, if I take 40 and divide it by 300, I'm left with 0.133 as my ratio. Now, as we've said in class, if I know I've got a certain angle, say sine of 37 degrees, I can come up with consistently what that, that ratio is going to be. I ask my calculator to take 37 degrees and to look up the corresponding ratio, in this case 0.6. That's what it is for 37 degrees. So what I want to do is ask the calculator to work in the opposite direction. I want the calculator to tell me what angle corresponds to that ratio. So far I've given it the angle. It's giving me the ratio. Now I want the calculator to do the opposite. I want to give the calculator the ratio and have it kick out the angle for me. So I'm asking the calculator what angle will produce that. Now one way I write this notationally is to say that my angle that it's going to tell me is the inverse tangent of 0.133. Remember, inverse means to do the mathematical opposite. That's what I'm asking the calculator to do here. Now on a calculator, I want to look for a button that looks like that, tan with a negative 1 in it. Now what I'll probably will see on my calculator, I will see a button that says something like sine, and above it, it will say sine to the negative 1. That's my calculator's way of putting more buttons on here. So I have to use this little second function button, little second function button, to access that upper level. Every calculator is different. We'll figure out how your calculator works when the time comes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my calculator, I'm going to type in point one three three. So I've got my point one three three there. Then I'm going to push the second function button, and I'm going to push the tangent button. And then when I push that tangent button, it kicks out to me an answer of 7.6. And that will be my answer, 7.6 degrees.